Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grimmy Pokemon at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully you're looking after yourselves and having a great start to the week. Uh being busy on my account right now, it is uh 2 15 a.m. and I'm still working on some content. And today I wanted to kind of show with you uh probably one of my last ever videos on this topic, and it's gonna be on the road to one billion. I thought the last week would have been the last video but this week we've done something a bit different and i've improved my damage we nearly made one billion uh but in the end we got a champion got devoured and that affected me some stopping getting the one billion so i'm going to say we got the one billion because you guys can see the evidence for yourself uh so bear with me and we're going to go through the whole thing so let's go take a look at the team the team hasn't changed some builds have changed which we'll get into and I'm going to explain the breakdown behind me here. So I'm going to put myself right in the corner so you guys can see everything and I'll talk about the breakdown. So uh, two hack is going to go first and it's really key that she goes first because you wanted to land the block buffs. You stop and the debuffs across the head is going to get a bit RNG. And it's giving you the RNG anyway because you're waiting for the provoke from Mishi to land on uh, DK. So that's something you need to take into consideration for. So you can see there, there we are. That's going to be super nice. You got the provoke coming in with the HE burn, which is super key. Uh, the reason why, oh my god, the reason why we didn't do the ally attack straight away at the start is we didn't want to true fear ourselves, right? So that's one thing we wanted just to kind of give uh, overalls. Let me go back to where it was. Uh, we're just going to go play again. So you can see here we've done the um we've basically done everything. We've done A2 from uh two hack, we've done the A1 from Lady M to provoke DK, we've done A2 for the defense town, and we've done A2 from destroyer for the decrease attack and the weaken. Now Cardio is gonna so Carnage is gonna flip straight away into his A3 and do some damage there, and then we're gonna do the increase attack there from um from lady m for the ally attack we're going to aim for mischief because he's provoked in a corner and then so we want mischief to die to drop all the term meter back and basically we control the heads more this was super key obviously we'll want to keep the block buffs for certain situations for example the main reason would be wrath because of his passive ability and increased attack which we do not want him to get we do not have a reviver will be night night if he gets it uh suffering which would obviously put sort of reflection for two turns on his a uh free and then takes extra turn and then we have the um we have the mischief as well obviously in case he doesn't steal the debuffs as the case he steals the debuffs so mischief is third and then fourth would be blithe so you would see it throughout the run I used the HP burn from Mishi to put on him to kill him so we could break the poison clouds and make the poison clouds work in our favor. So that's one thing as well to take in consideration. I did put the poison cloud down fourth in the rotation to try and make sure block buffs is always ready. And sometimes being careful with the AE hits. Obviously, we're looking for the decreased speed on the Devourer Head ASAP to obviously increase my damage overall. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this, enjoy the music, and I'll see you towards the end. And we'll look at where it went all wrong at the end of the run. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is where it all goes wrong now. You can see here we're 1,387 uh, turn counts.
and we're limited still quite far away we're at 937 million so you can see here we're doing insane amount of damage which is super nice and then it all kind of just goes pear shape here i made the mistake and put the block boss on the poison head and really i should have put it on uh on the head that didn't have like a hatred burn or something like that and the only head that didn't do it was actually on torment which kind of makes me now kick myself because we basically don't get flat the destroyer back and basically hinges my damage just short from the damage that we needed so obviously that weaken was a big factor for why i was doing so much damage so obviously you guys always seen a score at the end of the run um big big damage coming in from Necmafar at the back there two hack as well uh destroyer coming in with 200 and then carnage coming in with a whopping 376 million it is absolutely insane what this guy can do so let me go show you all the builds then this is what you want to see and all this juicy stuff so this is uh carnage with level five boots uh, you can see that level 5 gear is still the best way of optimizing it. Uh, you can see here that we don't actually have max great stats at the moment in the arena. So that's one thing that we can still improve on. These are his stats overall. So he's got 9,400 attack, uh, 193 speed, uh, obviously coming in with 330 critical damage. Accuracy as well, which turns into critical damage. So basically we're getting another... 120 critical damage more or less how it's divided and then we got 12 percent ignore defense from la Rahina great hall as well can be better still there is a little bit of oil in to go the gear could be a little bit better but overall you can see here it's absolutely insane i'm basically testing nature of wrath to see if it's working or not to see if it's successful with him i still think cruelty is the best way to go at the moment and then you can see here that these are his blessings. He's only got 68 ranking. So you can see here, I've given him a five for Hydra because the Hydra is fantastic. Don't know why he's so low and everything. Obviously, they don't know uh, what this guy can do because he's an absolute monster. Uh, so hopefully he's going to be good after his buff as well. But we'll see. Uh, we'll do a comparison maybe of that. So... Let's go ahead and look at the next champion. So we'll do all the DPS first. You got Mishikun in with the provoke set, uh, which is sort of super key for its run. And honestly, it will be super key for me to get this. Obviously, if I have more high blessings as well, I would do way more in damage. I've only got level one blessings so on Mishi, and a lot of my blessings are quite low. So uh actually for like game one billion, this is really, really super good with low level blessings these are his stats overall for mishi uh these are his masteries that you can see here and then for me blessing right now would be uh, nature of wrath because it is super op on all these champions so let's remember that and then after that uh we would go to vlad the destroyer which i spelled his name wrong and if i say his name wrong please forgive me Blessing Cruelty, he has level 1 Blessing. These are his Masteries, which are simple, pretty standard. Carnage's Masteries as well, worth noting, are more arena. Six Piece Merciless coming in. Uh, again, a level 2 Blessing would give him that over 6,000 attack, which would be super nice. I do want more speed on him, but I will wait until the live arena side is kind of maxed out. I think the next video I'll probably make will be in the next couple of months where uh, potentially the gear is. Or fully oiled and the live arena great hall is max obviously i do live arena most days so it will take me a while to get it max but you kind of know where i'm going with that um and then yeah these are his blessings overall we might uh, get something a bit better as well lady as well i'm still waiting on some uh, bits and bobs with her but i think we could actually go impulse on her as well because i do have an impulse set sitting around somewhere and then ideally refresh would be super good as well these are her stats so i wanted to be a bit slower than two hack and then this is her overall as well and then we're going to go to negma which is in a 
the folk set with Warmaster tier 6. Super cool. Uh, some key masteries here. Live Drinker is a key mastery for me personally because it really helps with the healing. Obviously, we've got that level 3 cruelty as well, which is super nice. Triple refresh, which is not too bad. That's why you're seeing him get so much returns. And then you can see here, these are his stats. Again, a bit of critical damage, uh, good accuracy, a bit of ignore defense, brew speed, and then overall good stats for survivability, which is super key. He needs stats overall. You can see here as well, a lot of oil to come in, which wouldn't make a big difference for him. because He's not the highest of damage dealers. And then we've got two hacker on. Uh, again, if I say her name wrong, please forgive me. She's in nine piece protection, which will give me more damage for my nukas, which is super super good. And then these are her speeds. You can see here, uh, once the great hall's done, I want to try to get her back towards 400 resistance, which would be super nice. So, we've got uh, good accuracy, good resistance. I want to get a resistance up, but again, that's just a little bonus. With 100% critical rate, we have got 143 critical damage, which does help a little bit. Good speed again and then good hp do need to get their defense up a little bit but again we can work on that with some oil which is not too bad and again you can see here level one blessing which is a bit of a you know is what it is kind of situation with her um <clears throat> so overall really really happy with this team it's actually tank week and i was meant to keep not keep the key but i accidentally kept the key and it's an absolute monster of a key. I really, really trust with this. It's a 2.92 billion damage. So that is significantly raised my damage massively for uh, Hydra Clash overall. Uh, that's it from me. Um, hopefully you enjoy this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you enjoy this series. I am looking to start other series series as well within hydra different challenges for myself but also for you guys so keep an eye on the channel when i go live uh probably when after the baby is born because the baby's due this week or next week so if you see the youtube go uh quiet you know why i've got some backup videos already planned for you guys so yeah go ahead and show me some love down below in the comments and let me know your highest uh critical uh, your highest damage in hydra down below and as well if you are looking for any help in hydra or any other content within Raid Shot legends you're interested in takeovers you can earn a free from twitch which is down in my links down below or if you want to go ahead and pay the fee and don't want to wait for the channel points there all the prices are in your discord again that's it from me for today appreciate you watching to the end i'll be grim i'll see you on the next one